Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a video in a while and I'm on my floor. So I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna change positions a couple times. It's hard for me to sit on the floor, but um, everything's a crapshoot right now. So I have this basket full of stuff that I've been warming that's empty and there's no rhyme or reason to it, no order. I'm just gonna grab it as I go because I have put this off for so long that this basket is so full that I just can't, um, I, I don't even want to organize it. I just want to get it over with and out of here so I can throw stuff away. So um, this is mostly Scentsy empties and what I've been warming. There's some other stuff I've been warming in here. There's stuff that's just empty, um, like non-wax stuff. So we're going to go through all of that. So I hope you have a couple minutes to spend with me. I probably won't go over scent notes and stuff. Um, I'm just going to say what I think of it, you know, that type of thing. So first I'm going to start out with, I know, I actually think I might have two of these in here. I just finished up Winterberry Apple Tea um, in the Scentsy Dish Soap, which I love so much. I just love doing my dishes and um, it, smelling something different. I love Dawn. I think I've said that before, but I really love just being able to smell something more fun when you're doing dishes. So I think it works great too. So I really like it. So this Winterberry Apple Tea is one of my favorite scents. Love that. Um, let me see, I am trying to grab from the bottom here. I got through a um, Harvest Gathering uh, Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body. This one was okay, it was a little strong at first, um, but it was neat and cool packaging. This is really pretty. So I did that. Um, and it was like a spicy kind of scent. So it was good. Um, right now, again, like I said, so random, but um, I have a stargazing scent circle in my locker at work and I love this. So far, I think I've had this in almost two weeks. I smell it on my um, uniforms when I take them out, um, on my purse and stuff then when I get it out of there. So this one is so good. I actually just took this scent out of my club because I think it smells similar to Jammy Time and Luna, so I needed to make room in my club, and I have two or three bars of it, so. So, it's okay. You can't keep everything in our club, right? It's a struggle, but um, right now, I just, um, I bought these in, I think, the clearance, the Berry Bright Pods, I think. If I didn't buy it, I think. I can't remember. There's still some scent in them, which is weird, but I can't smell them very strong anymore. So I'm not sure if I'll completely get rid of these yet, but this is a nice, um, fresh, bright, fruity scent. So they're okay. They're good. Um, let's see. I did um, a Now and Zen Scentsy Soak. Um, I actually think I might have a little bit more of this left, but it's, I put it in jars, um, with, you know, like in my bathroom, I do a couple of them and fill them with stuff. So, um, I was really enjoying this. I believe I got this in a clearance, um, too. So it's grapefruit and chamomile. I love this too in hand lotion. I wish they'd have this all the time. I never got to try it in wax and I really like it. Um, I finished up a... Well, there's actually a tiny, tiny bit in there, but it's hard to get out. Crushed Candy Cane um, Antibacterial Hand Gel from Bath & Body. This smelled like chocolate peppermint. I loved it. That was really good. Um, I finished up. There's a tiny bit, but it was, it's done. Um, a Summer Boardwalk Candle, which I plan on getting more of, the bigger ones. I don't know if they're still on sale for $12.95, but I, I always like to have this every year. It's like caramel and oh it's just so good i love this one so that's summer boardwalk it might not actually be caramel but it kind of has that type of smell super good uh here's another winterberry apple tea you can tell i love that so i got through that one my second one um winterberry apple tea in the old style hand soap um, this was pretty good. Uh, let's see. I like that. I actually put, let's see, I finished up Vanilla Birch. This is one of my favorite candles from, um, Bath and Body. I love this one so much. This is really pretty, um, 
packaging too. And this is, is a per, like a cologne maybe perfumey kind of scent, but you can smell the vanilla. And when this one is done burning, I like to put it on my candle. You can hear all my wax down here. I put it on one of these hot plates. And this one actually, I believe it has a timer to it too. So it'll just shut off. And I just put it on here and that helps it to go down evenly. So if you have one where the wicks are going wonky, you don't like the way it burns, it makes too much smoke, sit it on here. This melts, this vanilla birch will last forever. Like it does not die. So when you put it on here, you finally just have to be like, okay, I'm just over it. So I wanted to show you that little thing. And I think I got that at Boss Calls, but you can probably buy them anywhere. Hopefully I didn't throw stuff out the back. Uh, so I got through Toasted Acorn and Oak. I actually have one of these in my car right now. And here's the other one. And what's weird, this scent I love so, so much. You can still smell it some in here. But um, as far as putting it anywhere, it's probably pretty well done. And the other one in my car, it's dying a little bit. And I actually put it in the console. And I have masks in there because I have to wear masks at work. It's the only place I really have to wear them. So I'll take one out every day before I go in. I put it on and I can smell this because I put the thing in my console. And um, I it smells so good in my mask. I can smell it all day. I love it. <laughs> so this, I, I so hope this comes back in the fall or at some point because this is a wonderful, wonderful scent. Love everything about it. Uh, let's see. I got through a dark kiss, uh, shower gel from Bath and Body. I love this. This reminds me of dark and devious from, um, Scentsy. Um, somebody actually said to me, I wore this though one time at work and somebody said, what smells like a Catholic church? And I'm like, that would be me. Cause it does kind of have like maybe an incense type of vibe to it. What's it say? It has black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense. There you go. Dark vanilla bean and plum musk. So I do like um, the darker, real deep, complex, rich scents. And that's this. But I really love it. So especially if I see that one on sale, I try to grab it. Okay. Gosh, I have so much stuff here. Let me show you. Oh, what do I have in here? Okay. I put this in a bag in case it would leak. Um, I got through a shimmer. Um, I think I got this in clearance, maybe. Cherry, apricot, white musk, and sponge sugar. This is in the Scentsy body wash. And I do love the body washes. I like the consistency of them. I like the way they make your skin feel. Um, the body cream's great. Um, I just didn't think this had a ton of smell, but um, but I liked it. You know, I, I do think Bath & Body Works ones have a little bit more scent to them, but... I enjoyed that. Um, I got through, this is kind of random too, but these are um, natural dead sea salts. I actually bought them at Ollie's, which is like a bargain place for $2.99. And this was lavender reviving and calming bath salts. And um, I really like these, it was, it was good. Let's see, so I also did some samples here for, um, a girl who does candles, makes her own scents. She has candles and everything. And she asked me to trial some samples for her that she's going to have, um, wants to see about having for fall. And then she always gives me samples if I buy anything. So one of, let's see, I got through, I thought I had... Well, this is her sponge sugar. So I've done this one um, already. I used three cubes of that. I absolutely love this and it lasts forever. And it reminds me of sugar from Scentsy, which I do have in my club. But this is so, so, so good. And um, so it's like a sweet cotton candy scent. And um, I love it, and it lasts so long. All of her scents are white. She doesn't add any color to them. And um, it's Modern Crystal Candle Company, and I really like that one. Um, so she gave me samples with stuff, and 
the Mai Tai scent. She just has this little thing in here. This at first, when I smelled it, I thought, oh, I smell cat pee. And sometimes I pick up cat pee and stuff. And I put it, you can't really smell because this bag's kind of, you know, um, aired out and everything. But um, this had, all of her scents so far, I've trialed them in a smaller room um, with a 25 watt uh, warmer. But I feel like they smell up the room. They last so long. And again, you don't want to take them out. And the sample's like a sliver of this cube. It's just like a, maybe a third of a cube. And it, they just last and last and last. So this one at first, I, when I think when I first warmed it briefly, I could smell like a little bit of a cat pee note <laughs> that I thought. But then that went away and it was so beautiful. And then on like the third day, I think I got it a little bit again. And again, I have this door closed. So I walk in and it's the first thing that hits me because the warmer is like right by the door. Um, so this one though turned so beautiful, was so good. And I only got that maybe briefly. So I really liked that. Um, the other one, let's see, Mojito. I just tried this one and this was a nice scent too. It wasn't as strong as some of the other ones, but it was a nice scent. I liked that. I feel like there was more, but this little thing, I've just been throwing so much random stuff in here. It's crazy. Seriously, it is. Um, so the ones that she had me trial though, Autumn Campfire, this was so, so, so good. I loved this so much. This was like a campfire. It, she captured it perfectly. I loved it. Uh, let me see. Then again, these are trial scents. She wanted me to see what I thought and how they could be tweaked. If she thought, if I thought they were good, you know, to put in. Um, apple bourbon, definitely. I got both scents. I got the apple and the bourbon. And if you like boozier type of scents, I told her the bourbon was strong. Um, but again, lasted a long time. It was good. Fairgrounds. This, you got everything. You got popcorn, uh, funnel cakes, apples. I mean, whatever. I'm not sure everything she had in this, but this was wonderful. And, um, I got everything that I feel like you would be picking up at a fair. It was so good. So those, I believe, was that all I did of her scents? I think so. Uh, let's see. I did. Here's, let's get this one out of the way. Lemon Verbena um, dish soap. I have to change position. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, lemon Verbena dish soap. This was okay. I got this in clearance. Eh, it was all right. It, it was okay. It wasn't the best one. But again, I love the dish soap. So as far as the soap goes, no problems with that. The only thing I don't like is how messy it gets, but whatever. Um, okay, so Pink Zebra, I get samples from a lady all the time. Lemon Meringue Pie, absolutely amazing. I have one of these coming. This is so, so, so good. If you love lemon, if you love um, meringue pie, lemon meringue pie, you will love this. And it just lasts and lasts and lasts. It's so good. And she actually had it in this little cup, so that's cool. Uh, Hippie Juice and Aquamarine Heroes. They were two of the other ones. Like she sends me little samples. You can actually get in her VIP group and she'll send you samples um, every month. And the only commitment, I think you have to buy a jar. So it's like, if she ships everything to you, it's like $16. But um, so it's like a little tiny subscription thing in a way, but you get to try all kinds of scents. So it's fun. And my foot's asleep now. So that's good. So these were good. Aquamarine Heroes is more of a fresh scent. And the hippie juice is something she makes up. She mixes a whole bunch of different ones together. And she does one every year. Uh, I got through a warm donut sugar from Goose Creek. And this one was good. Um, bakery. I just wanted to get through it. It, it is just like more of that cakey donut with sugar on it. You can see the picture. Goose Creek always has neat pictures. Got through that from Goose Creek. I got through summer slices from Goose Creek. I didn't really, I'm not a huge apple person. And this is apple. Um, it looks like maybe there's strawberry and some other fruits in it, but it was okay. That one's not my favorite. 
Oh, this was um, this Monday morning coffee. This was from that other girl that I was telling you about that makes from the Modern Crystal Candle Company. And um, this is excellent, wonderful, just straight up coffee. That's all this smells like. Very, very good. Uh, let's see, a Walmart one, Sensationals, Mystic, uh, Dreams of Orchids and Berries. I love this. This is like a sweet, um, sweet, fr oh, I still have one left. I thought I used all this. I was like so proud of myself. This is so good though. It's like a fresh, fruity, sweet berry. Almost cotton candy like. Really like that. I'll probably just keep that out because one cube of that I can do. I love it. Oh, here's another sample, New Baby. This is a really nice scent. Um, I actually ended up getting like a half a carton in a sale she was having. This is this is really good. I, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, and Baby Powder. This was a good one. Those, these again are from Pink Zebra. Just straight up baby powder. And let me see. Am I down to... Oh, I threw this whole bag. I must have thrown this in here for some reason. But she'll send me these in bags. And they're sprinkles. And this is Blackberry um, Buttercream Frosting. And this one, it smells good. Very, very good on cold when it's warming. It smells really good. But it doesn't, it doesn't last a ton. But those are what the sprinkles look like. It wasn't super strong. It smelled like a bakery and it lasted a couple hours. So, it's, you know. All right, let me see. Am I down to, yes. Yeah, so now I'm going to do my Scentsy. Okay, so how about I get my rainbow collection? The only one I don't have here is the red. The blue, so um, I think the blue, it was the one that I liked the most. It's a beautiful color. This collection was just okay for me. I th actually thought I liked it more. This is a fresh scent that smells like Atlantic Air, um, just a fresh outdoor scent. And when I first warmed it the first time, I thought, this is so good. But I feel like as I warmed it um, the second time, for one thing, it's super strong. It does not die. It lasts forever. Um, there's a melon that comes out in this and melon and I it aren't always, we don't always get along and I don't always love it. So this is a laundry type scent. I feel like a very fresh air laundry type scent and it's okay. Um, I'll warm it and try to get through it, but I just feel like the second and third time I warmed it, I wasn't as crazy about it. Um, yellow. So really pretty. This is just like a lemon scent and I have, I warmed three cubes of it. It smells good. It smells like lemon. To me, it's not super strong. Actually, it's not just lemon. I think there's grapefruit and stuff in this, if I'm not mistaken. You get a little bit of a Dumbo vibe in a way. I don't know. It's okay. It's, you know, it is for what it is. It's a citrus scent, kind of light in my opinion. The orange, I loved on cold. Now I am down to two cubes. It's a beautiful color. And there's a different smell to this. I actually think this one might have vanilla in it. I might be wrong, but I think it does. And um, again, I loved it on cold. I have it warming right now in this room. So we'll see if it does any different in a closed in space, but it's kind of perfumey. It lasts maybe, I think maybe about a day, if I'm not mistaken. It's okay. So that's the orange. The green. The green never dies. It just goes and goes and goes. And if you love apple, you'll like this. Okay, that's the green. Really pretty green wax. Um, it's strong, long lasting, but it smells dusty. I think it smells dusty. I don't know. It smells like a sweet, there's a sweet smell to it from the apple, but it almost smells like the apple skin or when you first cut into the apple. 
I, I don't know. But then there's like a dusty basement type smell. So once I'm done with those three cubes, I'm good. But it lasts and lasts and lasts. Okay, so that's that. Um, lemon drizzle cake. This was from the Easter collection and I really enjoy this one and it lasts a good bit. It reminds me of just what it says, lemon drizzle cake, because it's like a lemon type of pound cake where they take that powdered sugar, drizzle, put it over top. Um, so I feel like instead of the lilac sugar, there's a little bit of a, maybe a, a, a different type of note in this that when you first smell it, you might be like, that's weird. But I think I don't really get lilac per se, but I think it's more of that powdered sugar mixed with the bakery. So with some lemon, <laughs> but I like it. I enjoy it. I'll probably keep it in the club for a little bit. Um, blueberry burst. Now I love this. A lot of people have different opinions about this. I think it smells good. I think it smells like the little pieces of blueberry in a muffin mix, like the dried up dehydrated blueberry. I don't get feet. I don't get anything like that. I think it smells good, but I also have heard it compared to fairy tale um, pumpkin, which I absolutely love. It's like my all time October scent. Um, but so that's the blueberry drizzle. So I enjoyed that and I believe I have them each in my club. So I'll probably at least get another round. Uh, the raspberry lollipop might be in here. Yes. Now, I only did two cubes of this one. Yeah, this isn't in my club. It smells plasticky. Maybe like chapstick. And it's, it's okay. I couldn't actually, the first cube I did, I couldn't smell at all. And, or did I put two cubes in? I might've put two cubes in the classic curve warmer and I could not smell them at all. And then the second day, I think it is, the second day I turned it on and I'm like, oh my word, I can smell that. It's so strong. So, you know, but I didn't love it. So that one's not in my club. Uh, you're the one. It looks like I have two of these. This was from the Valentine's collection. And this is like, I think, does it have like cucumber and something in it? It's a good fresh scent. Um, it's not my favorite, but I don't mind it while it's going. You know, it's just not my favorite type type of scent. It's not something I usually reach for, but I did use a decent amount. Uh, Sleep Happy from the Catching Z's. I had to use some of this up because I have a good bit of these and they come in my club. I have Sleep Happy and oh, I thought I had the other one in here. No, well, maybe I don't. Well, anyway, I had to use this up. It kind of reminds me a little bit of palm olive, the green palm olive dish soap. The one that Madge would dip her hands in. Yeah. So I really like that one. I love it. And I think it's pretty, it's fairly strong for a bathroom or a smaller room. I enjoy it and it lasts a long time. Right now I have Coastal Sunset going. Look how pretty that packaging is. It's a beautiful purple wax. It's empty though, but this is so good. It's got that, it's definitely coconut and then it has a woodsy type of smell to it. Um, just like a really a beach smell. So I really enjoy this um, and I'll be picking up more of that before the season ends for sure. Um, stargazing, I used that up. I have this, had it going in my bathroom. This will last, this smells like jammy time to me again. And I think when it came out as a scent of the month, it was described as uh, jammy time and Luna had a baby. Like that's what Orville and, um, I'm drawing a blank. Orville and his wife from Scentsy said that that's what it smells like. And it does. It's super good. I really like it, but I did take it out of my club. I know I'm probably crazy. It's a beautiful, um, like midnight blue color of wax and so pretty. But I thought if I can get that same similar vibe from Jammy Time, you know, and this one is also strong in mini warmers. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I finished up Winterberry Apple Tea. I love this scent. Mm, it's so good. It's like cinnamon and berries and... Um, tea and it's just it's so good I love it I finished that up um, I know I'm going and going 
Vanilla Blackberry. Hey, this one's so funny. I love this. I think it makes your house smell beautiful. You can put it in all the warmers. Like in my downstairs, I can put it in every warmer and it's not overpowering. It's just there and it's pretty and it's it's so good. But I had it in my bathroom. It was funny when I had it downstairs. My husband never said anything. But in my bathroom, I don't know if he was just more over top of it. He said, that smells like I said, what? And he said, it smells like weed. And I get that, that it does have that type of note to it. And in, fr in fact, a friend of mine bought some um, here recently when it was, they had it in uh, the clearance. And she messaged me the other night and said the same thing. So I said, I'll trade you something out for it. Um, so, cause she thought it smelled like weed. But I really, I really enjoy this. So I will be getting that bar from her or two bars, I think. So I have a few bars I bought up while it was still in the clearance, but I slept on it and never put it in my club. So I'm pretty sad about that. Um, let's see. Um, Aladdin, this is in my club. This is a blueberry scent. It smells so good. And I think it's strong and it's long lasting and I really enjoy it. Oh, let's see. Oh, sugar. Um, I love this one. This is in my club. This will stay in my club. I love that so much. Um, it's just a really pretty, girly, perfumey scent. It's so good. And it's another one. Just lasts and lasts and lasts. Uh, cinnamon vanilla. So I have four cubes of this. This is available in bakery now. And this is a classic cinnamon vanilla scent. Um, pretty heavy on the cinnamon though but it also lasts and lasts i've had it in my birds of a feather warmer and i have two of those warmers um and the way i have them sitting they're kind of not side by side but they're close and um it just went and went and went so that's a nice uh strong scent oh look a lilac vanilla this was a scent of the month from pink zebra that's a straggler down there um, that one really didn't do anything for me Vanilla bean buttercream. This is a in the catalog right now, and this is a good staple scent to have as a mixer, as just um, a neutral scent that most people would love. You know, so if you have people coming over, throw this in. Everybody would, nobody would probably be offended by that scent, and it's wonderful with squeeze the day. Okay, so world traveler. <laughs> I did one cube. I, um, this was from Bring Back My Bar and it was sat in my club for a while. Did I even skip a club? I can't remember. So it took me a while to get this, but it reminds me of something and I don't know what it is. It's a nice scent. I think I'll get another bar of it. I'm debating. Um, it's fresh, clean, almost like almost like a cologne type scent, but yet there's something else in there. I can't place it, but I'll, um, again, I don't know. I'm a little on the fence about this. It's beautiful, like a periwinkle maybe type color. I love that. Um, we'll see. I'll try it again. I'll tell you one thing. I had it in the Amazing Grace Warmer and it just days and days finally I'm like okay I'm just done I gave it a shot you know we're good uh summer moonlight this is so pretty this is a new one this year and I think it's strawberries and I'm not sure what else is in it mm, it's so good you can smell like really sweet sweet strawberry like when you're cutting a strawberry up like for strawberry shortcake or whatever you're rinsing them off and you're cutting the the hull out and cutting the um the stem part off. But then there's like a sweet, sugary, perfumey note. It's so good. Look at that pretty color, like a dusty rose color. This one is really good. Um, I enjoy it. I think it lasts a fair amount. To me, it's a medium performer for me and my house. Um, okay, I used up jammy time. This is the one that I said smells very similar to stargazing. There's a little bit of a difference, but to me, there's not much. I This is a classic scent, I think, from Scentsy, too, along with Luna. This is a little bit stronger, though, than Luna. But um, I really, really enjoyed Jamie time. Um, Hendrix. So I have, I used two cubes of Hendrix. This was, look at the guitars. 
That is so awesome. This is a hippie scent, um, incense, wonderful. You definitely have to like an incense type. And you know, it almost has like a tea berry. Mm. You can almost smell like, or envision like the incense burning and uh, it's so good. So I loved this. I had it in a classic curve warmer. I tried two cubes of it and it lasted a fair amount of time in there. I'd say two to three days, I could smell it pretty good. And then probably on the fourth day, probably I could smell it, but not enough to keep it in there. Um, and then last, it looks like finally, I'm sorry, this was a half hour, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, Sweep It Fierce. This is a, one of my all time favorites. This is in my club. I love the Glamorous You. This is so good. This is like a bath time, just a wonderful scent. Something like maybe you would use in the, in like um, a bubble bath. Love this so much in my bathroom. I think I put four cubes in the classic curve and days. This will last for days. It's just so good. So there you have it. This is my empties, so that's how full this was. Look at this, that's crazy. Oh wait, there's a straggler. Hold on, blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> so this is good. You get the cheesecake. Some people get a sour note to this, I really don't. I just love this, it's yummy. It's blueberry cheesecake, exactly what you would think. So this is in the catalog now, that has a, yeah, a fork and a spoon on it. Really pretty. Um, so anyway, so that is my empties for probably, oh, maybe two months. I don't know. But let me know what you've been getting through. Let me know um, what you've been warming and trying to get through and anything that is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it took me so long to do this. I'm expecting a haul and um, a club. So the club though would have processed on the fourth and then my, um, Sensi hall, I put in an, um, an order for some stuff. So I have things coming. So, um, stay tuned for that. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.